To control the speed of a pneumatic cylinder, it is very easy. There are a couple of ways you can do it. One of them is by using an inline valve like that. That would simply fit in that pipe or that pipe, or you could have one in each pipe. And you can use that to control the speed of the cylinder. These only actually restrict the air when it's actually exiting from the cylinder, not when it's going in. So you do need to ensure that you put these in the correct way around when you install them. Another way of doing it is by using mufflers or silencers that are adjustable. If you look at these two, these two are actually adjustable. We can adjust the amount of air that comes out of these. So I'll now demonstrate what happens when you flick the lever. The piston will extend at full speed. When I flick it back, it will retract at full speed. So that is never going to get any faster than that because we have full mains air pressure on that. But if you wanted to slow that down, you can do so by using the mufflers. So I'll now close this one fully and flick the switch. And you'll see that nothing happens until we start to unscrew the screw in the end that then lets out the traps air. So in one direction we now have full speed and in the other direction it lifts up very slowly but it still has the same amount of pressure on there so you're not actually reducing the amount of force in the cylinder. If we were to tighten up this side and flip the lever again you'll see that nothing happens until we let some air escape from it. So I'll leave that about there. We have now successfully slowed down the cylinder in both directions. You may not want to do that, you may just want it going fast in one direction and slow in the other. So what you can do with these is you can wind them to where you want them and then you can lock them up using the actual lock nut that's on there. So now we have one that extends fully at full speed and then retracts very slowly. To make this demonstration a bit clearer, I have now connected up the solenoid valve to a rodless cylinder which is quite a lot bigger than the actual cylinder we were just using. So I'm now going to remove the two needles from these mufflers and then the airflow there is not being restricted at all. I have also undone both of the speed controllers so there is no resistance there whatsoever. So if you watch the speed of the carriage on the rodless cylinder You can see that it operates at full air pressure, which is giving it the full speed. By adjusting one of these valves, we can adjust the speed in one direction. We're still going at full speed in one direction, but in the return direction, it has been slowed down considerably. You can, of course, slow it down even more than that. If you wanted to slow it down going in the other direction, you would adjust the other valve. So that is how to control the speed on a pneumatic cylinder.